But even if you give yourself as short as 60 to 90 seconds of transition and you just des designate it, excuse me, as transition, you're going to benefit in terms of your ability to do the next task. So to be very clear, if you were in kind of a light task or something that didn't have much cognitive demand, well, then the transition period can be fairly short. It can be just a couple of minutes. Rather, if you were in a deep trench of attention, you're really engaged in that first task, I suggest giving yourself a couple of minutes or more, maybe as much as five to 10 minutes, but you might not have that much time, in which case give yourself any kind of transition, even if it's 10 seconds, right? I certainly have had times in my life, in particular when I was a new assistant professor, meaning before I got tenure, where I remember sitting down to work on a grant, I'd get two lines out, someone would knock on the door. Hey, where are the, whatever, the 30 mil syringes? Where do we keep the buffers? Or, you know, where's the, you know, did we get this thing in? Okay, and then I'd have to shift my attention. They go back to writing and then be, you know, distracted by something else again, which is not to say that people were distracting me unfairly. It was simply the case that at that time, my life required being involved in a lot more things than it did as my career progressed, at least in the short term. So the point being that if you are deeply engaged in an activity, give yourself a little bit longer in the transition period between them. If you are sort of superficially involved in activity, you need less of a transition period, but you need a transition period. 